dun, 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 Uncle Al here. And uh, his 13 fishing, uh, the Jeffrey, the Bam F, uh, the donkey infused jig system worth it. And uh, I think this is called the Dude. And it glows. And uh, I'll give you my overview. And I hate when I have to. <laughs> when I have to do a review. Because I have to use the product. I battle the product. But then I have to come back through. And uh, I have to use the product. And very little glow on the pink. And that goes for the other things too. The Jeffries. And... Uh, See that? Does a pretty good job on the glow. And let's pick up this one. Not so much. So, if you want to go for the glow, stick with the Radioactive Pickle. Uh, that's probably their best glow one. The other pink, and I can't remember what other color they have. Sort of on the weak side. So, let's go over this. A cool hook feature. It got that little weird shape on there. Uh, believe 30 fish caught around 20. The hook started going dull, and then I had some bad line, and it popped off. And around a 20, also the paint started chipping. I noticed some of the paint was missing, so I went after perch, and they. Did a pretty good job, and then finally one took it, and I was like, hooray! But, so in the summertime under a bobber, it went heads up against the Uncle L jig. And, uh, I believe this video is posted as just the white bass session. The Uncle L jig is just pretty much a spring, and I use my favorite bait under there. And uh, highly expensive bait, Play-Doh. And I just roll a ball in my pocket. When they strip it off, I put another one in. And uh, this right here was the 180th Wapsies, what I was using as. Went head to head. And I killed it. Biggest fish. I think the only perk he got was using, a, he caught a perch. But bluegill, uh, the largest white bass, and the most white bass went to the Wapsie jig. And uh, so the second battle, I was like, you know what? I just lost, well, yeah. Let's see, 250 probably each on the jigs. And then one of these is probably 75 cents. So $4 every time you drop this in the water, roundabout, if you paid retail. So the line broke. I tied on the Uncle L DIY, I think I called it the cigarette butt, and uh, if you look, he killed it on that. They beat up the hook so bad, and it was the same perch that were biting on that, but it was pretty slow go, but the perch annihilated this, tipped with a spike. They're different lures, honestly. But that's the head-to-head -head comparisons of both days. And, uh, yeah, I wish I could just afford that. And uh, my cousin was using the green system, and it wasn't the glow. It was the other moss green-looking one. And uh, he had the fire tiger head, I believe. And what I used was the Jeffrey's Donkey Infused Purple Rain. And I had to break it down in half to get it to fit on this jig. So, like I say, it's debatable, but 250 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 divided by 6, and then you're around 75 cents. Oh, dollar. Because I think this is around $6, depending on which one you get after taxes. So they're a dollar each. So, I'm terrible at math. 250 for the jig. Add on a dollar, so you're at 350 every time you dunk it. I don't know. Make you some of these DIY Uncle L cigarette butts. Work pretty good. 
what I liked about it is since it's a paper clip with some heat shrinking on it and uh, killed it I don't know there's plenty of other jigs out there and let's see how good these glow so I don't think see that one you can barely see in there but at least it picked up the ambient light so maybe they make another color that glows <sighs> am I buying it oh yeah radioactive pickle does a pretty good job on the glow I think the rest of them I tested out this says ultra glow barely see it barely noticeable that one's probably your best bet enough babbling if you got the money go ahead get that looks cool if you don't have the money build you a few of these uncle L jigs drag out the secret bait and uh, or build you that one call it good uncle L's out